The Fed is upside down on inflation and that's a big risk economists say it's hard to understand how the Fed will bring inflation down if the federal fund rate remains negative throughout the year, as shown in the Fed's own forecast. The last time the US suffered a nasty bout of inflation, in the 1980s, the economic emergency was seen as so dear the Federal Reserve, then led by Paul Volcker, jacked up interest rates by as much as three percentage points. That's about six times the pace seen in a more typical rate hiking cycle, where the Fed moves in 0.25 percentage point increments. Unless we respond to the increase, which could be quite large in this period, we're going to have a real credibility problem, Donald Wynn, former senior official of the Federal Reserve Board, told Volcker at the Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, meeting in March 1980, according to the meeting transcript. Eventually, the U.S. central bank's main interest rate was some five percentage points over the inflation rate. The increase induced a sharp recession, but the intent worked, inflation soon subsided. Now, there's a similar gap between inflation and the federal funds rate. But the relationship is upside down. Inflation surged to a fresh four decade high of 9.1% last month, and Fed officials are worried. Although several governors of the U.S. Central Bank have talked down the prospect of a 1 percentage point rate hike, expressing their preference for a 0.75 percentage point hike. Such a move would raise the Fed funds rate to a range. Follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.